We're going to use the loft tool a little bit more today. We're going to start off by drawing a boat. And we're going to do that using 2D shapes. So I'm going to click on my line tool to start with. I want to turn my snap toggle on so that I get this the ability to, to select really easily these intersections on the grid. Um, I want to count out let's say 14, that looks about good, and then maybe 3 up. And then I'm going to go down 3, and then go down 3 more past my center line. Click. Uh, I want to make sure that I remember how many times how many grid lines I go down from perfectly horizontal here. Three looks about right. And I'm going to click and drag so that I get a curve. And then um, we'll go another 14 from center. Alright, and I'm going to right click so I stop that line. I'm going to start me a new line and I'm going to do the exact same thing but on the top, making sure that I get it symmetrical. Click and drag and then pull it out to the front. And then I'm going to right click again. Now I've actually got two different lines here. If you'll notice when I select one the other one turns off. So what I need to do is I need to attach these two lines together. The way that I'm going to do that is come over here to, I've got one selected, I'm going to come over here to our Modify tab. I'm going to expand it out and I'm going to click on Segment. And on my screen it's over here to the right, yours may be down below and you'll have to scroll down to find it. Uh, but click Attach and then click on the line we want to attach. When we're drawing with 2D shapes in 3D Max, I'm going to create a line here. When we start and stop a line in the same place, 3D Max is going to ask us to close the splines, whether we want to close those splines or not. And what that is, is that's making all of this one shape and taking these two points right here and basically welding them together, making them one point. When we click Yes, you can see it snaps it in and you can zoom in and it's all one piece right there. When we're modeling, sometimes we need to model and we need to model a line, especially a line that has curves or something like that, and we want to model them two different places. So say that I've got this line here and now I want to do a special curve over here that's hard to do if I'm coming back around from the other side. So I can right click on that and end that line. Well as soon as I do that, it's going to not allow 3D Max to ask us to close those splines. So we're going to have to do that manually. So I've got over here, I've got start new shape checked, which means it's going to start a new shape when I start drawing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select close to my starting point and I'm going to draw my other shape however I want it and then I'm going to end close to my other vertices there on my other shape. I'm going to right click to stop that and now I've got two two different shapes so I can select them independently of each other. When we start using modifiers like loft and extrude and things like that, this becomes a problem because this has to be all one shape in order for us to use those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our modify tab. We're going to select our vertices and you can see our see the vertices are there. And then when we select our segment, we can see the segments are there. So what I want to do
is I want to come over here and click attach, which is on mine, it's on the second column here. Yours might be on the first one. And I want to come over here and I want to attach it to this line here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to come over to my vertices and I want to make sure that my two endpoints that I weld them together. Now the way we can tell that this all worked is we should be able to take this line now and throw one of these modifiers on it such as um, let's use extrude. And you can see it's extruding all of that out as one line now. And then I'll turn that one off. We're going to go back and we're going to select our line again. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to draw our beam that goes straight down the boat, and basically that's going to be just a straight line that's going to run the length of the boat. Again, right-click to get rid of that extra. And now we want to draw the whole shape of the boat, and what we have right now, I'm going to turn this snap tool off real quick so I can maneuver this around. So right now we have the top of the boat looking straight down on the boat and we need to draw, if we pull this boat around and we had a 3D boat here, we want to draw what this hull is going to look underneath the boat. So that's what we're going to draw up here now. So turn our snap back on. And I'm going to count out I'm going to start at 7, so that should give us a 14. And for this particular boat, I'm going to have just a very simple hull bottom. You can make yours more complex if you'd like. And close our splines. All right, for the time being, I'm going to turn the snap off. We're going to select our beam here. You go to Compound Objects and select Loft, Get Shape. We want to get our whole shape. pull this over to the side so we can see our shape still. Alright, we need to draw one more shape which is going to be the shape that this hole takes in this direction. So we're going to turn our snap toggle back on. And over here we made our we made our shape our hull about four up. So we'll start here. Excuse me, I have to go over to select line. Four here. We're gonna go right in here going to go one block down or so so we get a little bit of curve on the bottom of our boat. Click and drag. And then we're going to pull it up. To meet our bow of our boat here and come on back to here. Okay, so now we're going to turn our snap off. We're going to select our piece that we lofted earlier. And under this 
bottom tag here, we're going to expand that out. And we're going to click on the fit. We're going to get this fit deformation window. Right up here, we need to turn this button off, with it, which is our symmetrical button. So we have x, y, and x and y axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this display y axis. And then we want to get shape. And we want to select that top shape of our hole there. And you can kind of see here the shape of our hole is going to take. And if you look down here, you can see our boat starting to take shape already. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to grab our x-axis. We want to get our shape. And we want to select okay what's happening here is I need to come back down to my shape here okay what I need to do is I need to select my shape select the vertices and we're gonna select all, everything in this shape. Make sure that all of the points are selected and then we're going to connect and weld them. Yours, your connect and weld may be down if you've got a single column here, maybe down below where you have to scroll down to find it. So at that point we can come back up or we have to turn our vertices off first. We can come back up to our hull, go back over to fit, make sure your display x-axis is selected, get shape, and then you can select the top of that hole. And now you can see that our boat's starting to take shape here. So now I'm going to do a few things with my boat, like, for instance, on my top view, we're going to convert to editable poly. I'm going to click my faces. I'm going to make sure my ignore back facing is turned off because what I don't want to do is I'm going to cut this middle part out. I don't want it to cut a hole in the bottom of my boat. So I'm going to start about here. I'm going to leave me a little bit of room on the edge of the boat. And then I can use my alt button to go back and deselect things that I don't want. I'm going to hit delete, and you can see that that gave me a kind of a hollowed out boat. Now, from here, I'm going to leave you, and I'm going to let you go and put materials on this boat, finish forming this boat out, uh, make it look like a real boat. Uh, you can add a cabin in there uh, and do all kinds of things with that.